In this video, we'll make a business card with a QR code that looks like that. Click on Create Legacy Design because right now the beta version of Tinkercad is not fully functional. Click on Geometric, bring a box into the work plane, and then drag the white cubes down to make it a business card shape. You can type in numbers or just eyeball proportions as I'm doing. Now click on Shape Generators Tinkercad and bring in the text shape generator. You can choose a font, type in what you want the text to say, and alter its height. Hold the shift key down while dragging one of the white squares on this piece of text to size it proportionately. and then move it by just dragging it. Now click on the Community Shape Generators and go to page 13 where you'll find a QR code generator. There it is. Drag it into the work plane. Type what you want to embed in it. Size it. Again, hold the shift key down to size it proportionately. Drag a work plane onto the card because it will make moving the QR code to it easier. And again, just hold your mouse down on it and drag it to move it. Drag that arrow down to move it down. I'm going to do some final finessing of the position of the text. And now it's ready to export as an STL. Click on the Tinkercad icon. Click on the thumbnail. You don't have to wait until it generates a picture. And then click on Download for 3D Printing and click on STL. Import that STL into Mesh Mixer to see if it's printable. When I click on Analysis Inspector, I see all these problems and an auto repair will ruin it. So instead, I'll go to Edit Make Solid and that makes it printable, but I've lost a lot of the detail, which I can fix with all these options here. Once it looks as I want it to look, click Accept, and then export it as an STL. And from here, we can import it into a slicer and 3D print it. I've printed it with two colors. I waited until the printer reached the layer where I wanted to change filament. And then I changed the filament. I paused the machine, changed it, and now you can see it's printing with the new filament. And there you have it.